The universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. It has always been a place of profound mystery and endless surprise. For centuries we have peered into the darkness, armed with curiosity and ever-improving tools, striving to understand our place in the cosmic ocean. Each new telescope has been a new set of eyes, revealing wonders our ancestors could only dream of, from Galileo's simple lens to the mighty Hubble. Today we stand at the threshold of a new era thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. This magnificent instrument is not just another telescope, it is a time machine. It is a portal to the unseen, its giant golden mirror is designed to capture the faint ancient light from the dawn of the universe, light that has traveled for over 13 billion years to reach us. Webb sees the cosmos in infrared, a spectrum invisible to our eyes but rich with the secrets of star birth. Sometimes, the most profound revelations come not from the distant past, but from objects much closer to home. These visitors from other star systems carry with them the stories of their origins. This visitor, designated 3I Atlas, is not just another rock. The initial data streaming back from Webb's sensitive instruments is painting a picture that is both exhilarating and deeply unsettling, and forces us to confront a reality that is far more dynamic and potentially more dangerous than we had ever imagined. The cosmos is speaking and we are finally beginning to understand its language. So, what is this mysterious object that has captured the attention of astronomers worldwide? It's called 3I Atlas. The 3I in its name tells you it's the third interstellar object ever confirmed to have visited our solar system. The Atlas part comes from the survey that first spotted it, the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System in Hawaii. This system is one of our planetary defense sentinels constantly scanning the night sky for near-Earth objects. As robotic telescopes photographed patch after patch of sky, an automated program flagged a faint, fast-moving pinprick of light. But as astronomers tracked its path over days and weeks, they realized something was very strange. Its trajectory was not a closed ellipse, the kind of orbit that keeps an object bound to our sun. Instead, its path was a hyperbola, an open curve indicating it was moving so fast our sun's gravity could not capture it. A one-way trip a brief flyby before it would be flung back into the interstellar void. 3. I-Atlas is a messenger from an unknown place. It carries raw materials and the history of its home star a star we may never be able to visit. It is a pristine piece of another world delivered to our doorstep, as we realize the sheer scale of this object. To understand the significance of 3 I-Atlas, we must first remember its predecessor, Nun Umuamua, discovered in 2017 the very first interstellar object we ever detected. Its name means scout in Hawaiian, and it was a true enigma. It was small, highly elongated like a cosmic cigar. Most puzzling was its movement. It whipped around the sun then accelerated away faster than gravity alone could explain. That non-gravitational acceleration sparked intense debate. Fast forward to today, 3I Atlas. If Umuamua was a scout, 3I Atlas is a battleship. Initial observations, orders of magnitude more massive. Umuamua, hundreds of meters 3i atlas, several kilometers across. Difference in scale is monumental. It carries immense kinetic energy. Umuamua posed no threat to Earth, but a larger cousin is like a thrown pebble versus a cannonball. Gravitational influence and potential devastation are exponentially greater. That's what makes 3i atlas alarming. Not just curiosity, a potential new category hazard. The ghost of Umuamua's strange acceleration hangs over every calculation, reminding us these objects can behave unpredictably. When the opportunity arose to study 3I Atlas, the James Webb Space Telescope was the perfect tool for the job. Its ability to see in the infrared spectrum allows it to analyze the heat and chemical composition of objects in a way no other telescope can. As 3I Atlas drew closer, Webb trained its golden eye on the interstellar wanderer, and the data it sent back was nothing short of shocking. The telescope's spectrographs broke down the faint light reflecting off the object's surface giving us our first real look at what this visitor from another star is made of. We were not prepared for what we found. The first surprise was the surface composition. Astronomers expected to see something like a comet, an asteroid from our own solar system, a mix of rock ice dust. Instead, Webb's instruments detected an unusually high concentration of heavy metals, including elements that are relatively rare in the crusts of rocky bodies in our solar system. The surface appears to be a dark, non-reflective amalgamation of dense metallic compounds. Furthermore, the analysis showed an almost complete absence of water ice, which is typically abundant on comets that come from the cold outer reaches of a star system. 
Even more perplexing was the object's thermal profile. The data revealed hot spots, localized areas on the surface that were significantly warmer than the surrounding terrain. Perhaps the most startling finding was the detection of a very thin, tenuous envelope of gas surrounding 3I Atlas. Instead, Webb found traces of certain noble gases and other elements that would require immense temperatures to vaporize. The data from the James Webb Space Telescope has sent ripples of alarm and excitement through the scientific community. The strange composition, the hot spots, the unusual outgassing of 3I Atlas have really thrown a wrench into our neat models of planetary formation. You know, the objects in our solar system usually follow a certain logic. Rocky planets close to the sun, gas giants farther out, icy comets way out in the frozen depths. But 3I Atlas doesn't seem to fit into any of these categories. It's honestly a Frankenstein's monster of a cosmic body. Dense and metallic like the core of a planet, yet it's exhibiting outgassing like a comet but with gases that just don't match. This forces us to ask very difficult questions. What kind of star system creates an object like this? Its high-density metallic nature suggests it might be a fragment of a much larger body, maybe the core of a planetoid shattered in a cataclysmic impact billions of years ago. The violence of such an event could explain how this piece was ejected at high velocity, destined to wander the galaxy. This implies other star systems might be far more violent and chaotic than our relatively stable home. 3i Atlas is a stark reminder of how little we truly know, a cosmic wake-up call shaking us out of comfortable assumptions. Let's be clear, based on our current tracking, 3i Atlas is not on a direct collision course with Earth. Its trajectory will carry it through our solar system and then back out into interstellar space. However, this does not mean it is harmless. An object of its size and speed passing through the relatively crowded environment of the inner solar system is like a bowling ball rolling through a set of delicate dominoes, its immense gravitational pull, though temporary, can have subtle but significant effects on the orbits of other objects, especially the thousands of asteroids that share our cosmic neighborhood. Imagine 3I Atlas passing near the asteroid belt. Its gravity could act as a slingshot, nudging asteroids out of their stable, predictable orbits and sending them on new paths. Some of these newly diverted asteroids could, over time, be sent careening toward the inner solar system, which could potentially increase the risk of an impact with Earth or Mars years or even decades from now. So, even if 3I Atlas itself misses us, it could leave behind a legacy of chaos, a cosmic minefield of perturbed asteroids. The most worrying aspect remains the unknown. We saw with Oumuamua that interstellar objects can accelerate in ways we can't predict, but 3I Atlas is a true wild card, representing a new class of cosmic threat. Faced with the reality of interstellar visitors like 3I Atlas, humanity is not sitting idle. We have a global network of telescopes and survey programs dedicated to planetary defense, systems like Atlas in Hawaii, PanStars, and the Catalina Sky Survey. These robotic observatories scan the sky every single night, taking pictures and using sophisticated software to identify anything that moves. Their primary mission is to find near-Earth asteroids, but they are also our best hope for getting an early warning about incoming interstellar objects. The discovery of 3Y Atlas is a testament to their success. Once a potential object of interest is flagged, the real work begins. A worldwide network of astronomers, both professional and amateur, springs into action. They perform follow-up observations to precisely measure the object's position and brightness. This data is fed into supercomputers at organizations like NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory there. Scientists meticulously calculate the object's orbit, projecting its path far into the future to determine if it poses any threat to Earth. For extraordinary objects like 3I Atlas, we bring out the heavy hitters. This means using our most powerful instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope and large ground-based observatories. We must watch all directions all the time. So what if we find an object like 3I Atlas and discover it is on a collision course with Earth? This is no longer just the stuff of science fiction. Scientists and engineers around the world are actively working on methods to defend our planet. This is our cosmic insurance policy. The primary strategy is not to destroy the incoming object but to deflect it. One of the most promising deflection techniques was successfully tested in 2022 with NASA's DART mission, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. The DART spacecraft was deliberately crashed into a small asteroid moonlet named Dimorphos. The mission was a spectacular success. The impact altered the asteroid's orbital period by a full 32 minutes, far more than predicted. 
This proved that the concept works, and that humanity now has a viable planetary defense capability. Other deflection methods are also on the drawing board. One idea is the gravity tractor, involving parking a heavy spacecraft near the threatening object and simply letting its tiny gravitational pull slowly tug the asteroid into a new orbit. For more extreme situations, scientists have considered using a focused laser to vaporize part of the object's surface. The key to all of these strategies is time. The earlier we detect a threat, the less force is needed to deflect it, and the more options we have. This is why the sky survey programs that found 3i Atlas are so critically important. The story of 3i Atlas is more than just a fascinating astronomical event. We now know we live in a dynamic, interconnected galaxy, a fundamental responsibility for a species that has achieved the intelligence to understand the threat and the ingenuity to do something about it.